Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. We always appreciate it. And if you are new, hello and welcome. I'm Lydia and this is Vintage Nectarines. Guys, I sometimes get to do really, really fun things and I get to do them with some of my best friends. So, Amber of The Most Magical Five and I have been participating in a lot of tags recently and we were chatting a few weeks ago and we're like, how fun would it be to create some of our own tags? So we did just that. So today's video is um, a collaboration with Amber of The Most Magical Five. Our friend Lindsay from Udolali Disney Crafts and Fun. Pretty sure I got that name right. <laughs> I think I screwed it up last time. Um, but so Amber and I were talking and she decided she wanted to create a Disney craft tag and I wanted to create some fall tags. So stay tuned for those coming up later in September. Um, but today we are doing Amber's Disney craft tag. So she and I were talking and she had this brilliant idea to kind of make it a very random craft. So she picked three different categories. They were um, the craft itself, the character you had to create, and then a challenge that you had to add an additional step to your craft. And so you would take those three categories and you would go to random.org and put the numbers one through 10 because each category had 10 options. Um, and then you would just randomly see which craft and character and challenge you would get. And so we decided to call it Disney Roulette. So welcome to the Disney Roulette craft challenge tag. <laughs> so um, I did end up creating technically two different projects, but within the first one, I actually made three separate things. So I'm going to rewind to me selecting my numbers, telling you what all of the category prompts were, and then creating my crafts. And then I will see you back in just a few minutes to show you my finished projects. So I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, so I'm going to sit down and go to random.org and put in my numbers for the Disney Roulette Craft and see what I get. Okay, so as you can see, I'm on random.org. So I put one in the minimum and 10 in the maximum, and I have to select three numbers. So the first one is for the craft, the second one is for the characters, and the last one is for the challenge. Um, so Amber came up with a list of different types of crafts, which I'll tell you what those are in a minute, um, a different list of characters, and then a different list of things we have to use as a challenge while making that craft. So I'm going to generate to see what I get, and then I will go and look. So I'm just gonna generate three different numbers, um, and then I will write them down and go look at the list. So here we go. Okay, so for my craft, I got number five. So I'm gonna write that down. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do for character. I got three, so I'm gonna go ahead and write that down. And then one last time for my challenge. Okay, and for the last one, I got six, so that will be my challenge. So I'm gonna go look at the list and see what we'll be making. Okay, so I drew my three numbers and um, I went and looked at the list. So I'm just gonna read you what all 10 items for each um, prompt were. So the first one was craft. So the 10 items we could have gotten were for the kitchen, jewelry, DIY ears, use fabric, use a recycled item, for the parks, DIY artwork, for a dinner party, use a vintage book or little golden book, or dollar store items. So for my very first one, number five, I got use a recycled item. Okay, so I've got some ideas already in my head. Okay, then the second prompt was characters. So the characters we could have gotten were princesses, Disney guy, villain, sidekick, animal, fab five, 
Pixar fairy inanimate objects such as Olaf or Woody, um, Disney Channel original. And my number for this was three, so I got villain. I'm excited, like really excited. Okay, and then the last thing was the challenge. So this is an extra element that we have to add in. And the things we could have gotten were red, excuse me, pink or red, add glitter, blue or green, something soft, yellow or orange, use hot glue, white or black, use ribbon, purple or rainbow, or use paint. And I drew number six, which was use hot glue. So in thinking about it, I already know that I have a fun junk journal fall prompt thing coming up that I'm doing with Amber and Lindsay. Um, so I think I'm going to um, make something for my junk journal. Um, so I'm thinking, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. But I also decided that because those are the prompts I got and that's kind of what I'm thinking I'll do, that craft won't take me very long. So I actually wanted to do another one. So I drew three more numbers and I got three, two, and eight. So for my next craft, I selected DIY ears. Number two was for the character Disney Guy. And then the last one was eight, which is use ribbon. And I was like, that one kind of like quickly because I have to use ribbon on the ears anyways. So I'm really excited. I already know what Disney Guy I'm going to do. I like knew instantly because it got me thinking and like, okay, what supplies do I already have to make ears? And guys, I'm so excited. So I'm so excited about both of my crafts. Um, I think I'm going to give myself a little bit of time to figure out how I want to do my first one, my recycled item with my villain and my hot glue. And then once I know, I will be back to show you my crafting process and my finished items. I'm so excited! <laughs> Okay, so I am back and I have decided what I'm going to do um, for my recycled villain hot glue <laughs> craft. Um, I'm going to make some little like ephemera pieces for my fall junk journal. So I'm kind of using the term recycled a little loosely. So I'm using this piece of um, like junk mail. Um, envelope, but I'm also using some like, you know, paper scraps. So they're being reused <laughs> from projects I've already used before. Um, I also have all of my like scrap papers over here that I will go through. Um, I have my hot glue gun, as you can see. And then I have this um, Nightmare Before Christmas coloring book. And as I know, Jack himself isn't really a villain. He kind of feels villainous, but then there's also um, Oogie Boogie in here. So I'm going to go through and try to figure out um, probably a page or two from this um, that I'm going to just cut some pieces out of um, to use in here. So that's what I'm going to do for this prompt. So let's jump in and get started on this. So I also have this one of lock, stock, and barrel. And so I think what I'm going to do is color this and then cut this out and use that kind of as like the focal point for my envelope. And then I have this of Oogie Boogie that I think I'm just going to color um, and kind of use as the background. Or I might actually even just keep this one white. I'm actually just going to keep it like this and use it as a pocket that I could insert stuff into um, that will then just kind of get adhered in, into my junk journal. But I do know that it is taller and wider than the junk journal that I have already made that I'll be using. So I'm going to cut it down to about here and then probably to right here above where this pocket is. Um, and then I think what I'm gonna do is actually just cut this out and I'm gonna stick like a brad in it so that it can spin on the pocket. I thought that would be kind of fun. So. 
Okay, so I have finished the pocket, but I still haven't used hot glue. So what I think I'm gonna do is take this cute little chipboard pumpkin and some of these ribbons and make like a little hanging tassel thing that will kind of just hang and I can just use my hot glue to attach the ribbons to the pumpkin and to the back of the envelope. <laughs> So because I feel like I didn't really use enough of the hot glue, I've decided to use this little frame um, and kind of make a cute little shaker box um, or shaker envelope for my junk journal as well. So I'm gonna cut out these two um, jack faces um, to stick into the shaker. I'm also going to um, color a little bit of Sally here because I think they will kind of be like the background of my shaker. Um, and then I'm also going to cut out a couple of these little jack faces that are small, of course, um, hot glue everything to this. And then I will add some sequins and some glitter to the pocket as well. Okay, so I finished my first set of prompts um, and I'm going to go ahead and start working on my second one. So if you remember, I drew for my second set of numbers, DIY ears, Disney guy, and ribbon. So 
I have decided I am going to make Cogsworth ears. I'm so excited. Okay, so I've already pre-cut my template um, for my ears. I use foam. So that I have my headband. I don't like to wrap my headbands, so I just tried to pick one that I thought matched the colors I have going on. It doesn't match perfectly, especially since Cogsworth is more like gold and bronze, but I didn't have brown, so we're just gonna go with silver, and I think it'll be okay. I might try to wrap it, I don't know, we'll see. I don't do that normally. Um, then I have these two fabrics, so I have just this white one um, with these gold diamonds on it. My very first magical makes that I ever did with Amber, I'll link those below. Um, I used this fabric to make my Fifi ears, and then I sent some of this ribbon to her for her Cogsworth craft, so I'm kind of like, bringing back some of our magical makes stuff. Um, and then I also have this really pretty like faux leathery suede fabric. So I'm gonna use this as well. And then I do have this fabric, or excuse me, this ribbon. So here's my ribbon challenge. Um, and I'm either gonna make this into a bow or I have this beautiful ribbon that was around my flowers at my wedding um, and my husband's boutonniere and I just, kind of think it looks very Cogsworth-like, so I might use this instead. I don't really know yet. And then I also have this ribbon that I will be using as the trim around the top of the ears. But then, the way I'm going to make them very Cogsworth-like, I have all of these fun, like, um, cloth arrangements. Then I also have all of these little gears. So, I don't know if I'll be using all of them, some of them, none of them. I really don't know. <laughs> but these are the materials I'm working with. So let's get started. my fabrics cut out and so I'm just going to go ahead and um, attach them to the foam and stuff them um, and then I will be back to make the other pieces okay so I have my ears all covered now um, I'm not sure which side is gonna be the front which side is gonna be the back and I still have to put the trim around the top and I cut this piece of ribbon because I was thinking I would maybe put it on the headband. I also really just don't wanna wrap the headband. So I might actually use both of them to make the bow. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, but so I'm just going to mark where they need to be and add the trim to the top and go from there. So now I have them attached to the headband. I decided to go ahead and make this the front side, um, just because if you can see the ribbon, it kind of has this little bit of frill on it. And I just thought it looked nice for that to be the front. And then for this to just be very like clean looking. So now I just have to figure out what I'm gonna do for the bow and embellish it. I'm going to stop with the crafting part of this video here. Um, figure out the bow, put the embellishments on, and I will see you back at the end of this video for the big reveal of my ears and my villain craft that I used with recycled items and hot glue. Okay, <laughs> so I have to say, I was so excited about the um, prompts that I randomly selected um, and it was funny because I kind of felt like they perfectly went together. The only thing that kind of um, threw me off with the first one was the use of hot glue because I decided to, as you saw, make something for my junk journal and hot glue isn't really something I use very often in my junk journaling. So I'm gonna show you my first finished project. So I made 
this um, junk journal pocket using an old um, envelope um, like that had come with junk mail in it. Um, and I decided to go with Oogie Boogie and Lock, Stock and Barrel from Nightmare Before Christmas. I don't know if they're technically considered villains, but they are the bad guys in the Nightmare Before Christmas. So I said it works. And I also used a bunch of like paper and stuff from all of my scrapbook scraps. Um, so, you know, I met the challenge of villain and recycled with this. So um, I have this fun little pocket. You can still, if you stick something inside of it, you can still see through, so that'll be fun. And I decided to make this spin um, just because I thought that was kind of a fun element um, to have in my book. Um, and then I did go ahead and put lock, stock, and barrel on the back of the pocket as well, because unfortunately, even though I did cut everything down so that it would fit into my Halloween junk journal, um, which I already have, um, you'll get to see a flip through of this soon. Um, it, <laughs> I didn't take into account, um, I knew that lock, stock, and barrel, the little wheel thing would be outside of the journal, and I was okay with that. But I didn't take into account the fact that it's in the way of my closure. So at this point, I don't actually know if I'll be keeping it in my journal or if I'm going to rethink how I have my closure, which would be difficult because it's already all glued down. So I'm not 100% sure it will actually get to be in my journal, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and put paper on the back so that whatever I did do with it, it would be there. So I may actually just use this as something else or maybe make a second like junk journal um, that's maybe just Nightmare Before Christmas themed, which would be fun because I do have that whole coloring book full of things. Um, so it could be kind of fun. On the back, I put all this different paper so that when it does spin, um, it's not just, you know, boring on the back. Um, so I have that. So I made that, but with that, I hadn't used hot glue at all. So then I made, um, that you got to see in the video, I made, um, the little hanging pumpkin thing that I was going to kind of use as a like bookmark type thing, or just like an extra element. But when I went to hang it on here, it completely covered their faces. And I was like, okay, I don't like that. And I didn't really feel like it went as well with this. So I had used the hot glue to hot glue the ribbons to the back of the pumpkin and to um, the ribbon at the top to close it. Um, and so I was like, okay, well, I have, I have the hot glue. Although I kind of felt like I hadn't really used very much hot glue. So I was like, I kind of feel like it's cheating. Um, although I talked to Amber and she's like, well, it didn't say how much. It just said you had to use it. So I don't know. But I went ahead and just actually attached it to this page in my journal. So it's already there. Um, so it just has the pumpkin on one side, the white pumpkin. And then on the back, it has Oogie Boogie. Um, and I went ahead and braided all those ribbons just because I thought that was kind of fun. Um, and so it's just, you know, attached in my book. But again, I was like, okay, I don't feel like I really used the hot glue as much as I think I wanted to. So I decided to make a shaker pocket. Um, and you got to see me cut out the pieces for this and start assembling it. In the end, the big jack face was too big. Um, it didn't really work in here. I ended up adding some, um, so I have white and black and magenta and kind of an iridescent um, and then yellowy gold um, sequins and some orange glitter. Um, and then I put just some bones on the back. So again, I used a recycled item because this plastic that's on the front of it, um, I was originally going to use vellum, but you couldn't actually see through the vellum enough. And I was like, I don't really like that. Um, so I used this plastic from um, a, I had purchased a bag of glittery pumpkins at the dollar store and I kept the bag and cut it apart and used the plastic from the bag um, to cover the shaker pocket. So I have the recycled item there. Um, and then 
again, I don't think Jack is really a villain, so, you know. But I used hot glue to attach everything to the frame. <laughs> so, yeah. Full disclosure, um, I don't love the way this turned out. The plastic bag is a little bit wrinkly, and I don't love that. And I also don't love the glitter because it kind of just stuck to everything. And I don't know, I'm just not in love with it. I do like the shaking. I think it's cute. Um, I actually ended up having to redo this a couple of times and it kind of became a mess. And I also don't fully love my pocket because it doesn't fit into my journal as well. And then I honestly just don't really even like the little hanging bookmark thing, but I decided to add it anyway. So full disclosure, I kind of feel like my first prompt was a little bit of a fail, but you know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes creating and crafting doesn't always go the way we think it will. But yeah, and Amber says I'm being too hard on myself. She says that she thinks it's really cute. So I don't know. But then for my second random draw, I ended up getting DIY ears, Disney guy, and ribbon. So I went with a Disney guy who is, I don't know, he's kind of hard because technically he's more of an inanimate object, but he was a guy that got turned into an inanimate object that then becomes a guy again. So I went with Cogsworth and I decided to make ears, which you guys already got to see. And now I get to show you how they turned out. I really, really, really like them. So as you can see, I am wearing the Fifi ears that I had talked about actually in the video of me making them. Um, these are the very first pair of ears I ever made and I made them as part of a magical makes um, with Amber. It was our very first magical makes and I had sent her this ribbon to work on her Cogsworth craft. And then as you can see, I used this white and gold fabric, which is the same fabric I put on my Cogsworth ears to kind of add a Lumiere effect. So. I'm going to take my Fifi and Lumiere ears off and show you my Cogsworth ears. Okay, so I actually ended up making them double sided. So, on side one, I have the white and gold fabric with all of these little clocks and gears and this beautiful kind of um, gold and rust and brown and blue bow. And then I have more gears over here. And I left this side with like the fringe out on that. And then on the back, I put that bow. So we have the brown kind of leathery fabric with more gears and then this bow. And I stuck the ribbon from the front on the center of that. And then I have this giant clock over here. So I really love them. So this is this side. I think they turned out super cute. And then there's this side. And I honestly can't decide which side I like more. I think I like this side more because I feel like they look a little bit more Cogsworth, um, but I really like the other side as well because it kind of brings in the you know white tone of the clock face um, and it brings in some of the golds and it brings in the gears. I, so I'm just really happy with them. Um, and I love that like I could go to the parks with my family and one of us could wear these and one of us could wear the Fifi and it's like they match. So you have that. Or you could wear them like this. And again, they match. <laughs> so I'm really happy with the way they turned out. I'm glad that I opted to do another prompt. Um, but I think I will definitely do this again because it was a really fun way kind of to just think outside the box because I didn't know who I was going to be creating or what I was going to be creating or what I was going to have to use. And it really was just a lot of fun. So I'm so glad that Amber came up with this amazing thing. I'm so glad that our friend Lindsay decided to join us. So I am so excited to go watch their videos. I will have both of their channels linked below and I will also list out all of the prompts um, because since this is a tag, I have decided to tag two other amazing crafters and I'm so excited and crossing my fingers that they will do it because I cannot wait to see what they create. But I am going to be tagging Nicole of Irresistible Magic and I'm also going to tag Christine of Magic Wishing Star. Ladies, 
Do you want to create a fun Disney craft? I hope you do. So like I said, both Amber and Lindsay's channels are linked below. Please go check them out and give them some love. If you liked this video, you know what to do. Please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button so you can be notified anytime we have new content. We do all kinds of things on this channel. Lots of Disney content, but I also do bookish content, family vlogs, and we are a homeschooling family, so occasionally there are homeschool items and topics as well on this channel. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I loved this tag. I'm so excited that Amber came up with this such amazing idea for this super fun craft. So thank you so much for hanging out today, guys. I will see you very soon. Bye.